Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Luck of Liquid Sunshine 2. I am Rarquaza. I'm gonna play Commando. Let's do it. Um, so, the second uh, stream happened today. You can either check out a link. I mean, it's it's uh, so it's mostly the same stuff. However, it was the same video, but the the first time they did the video yesterday, uh, we didn't get to see the end of it. And this is if you're just coming here out of context. Uh, this is the first video that you clicked on. Hello, I'm playing Risk of Rain 2. Uh, we're talking about the um, E3 presentation or streams that we've gotten of of Risk of Rain 2, where the uh, where Paul and um, Duncan of Hopo Games, the developers of Risk of Rain 2, uh, showed off the new update, Scorched Acres. Uh, if you want to know more about what, what they had to say um, in the first stream yesterday, then you can watch my previous video. But if... Uh, that was... They showed... A different segment. They let the, f the video run longer than they did last time. So the, the first time uh, we saw the video, it was the first part of the video was in the new stage, the Scorched Acres stage. But then the second part, they didn't fight a boss yet. Uh, in, in today's stream, we did get to see the boss, and he is super cool. Um, his name is the Grove Tender. The Grove Tender. He's like a, a WWE sort of guy. Um, and he is sweet. He looks like something out of um, Miyazaki film. Spirited Away or something. Uh, Princess Mononoke. It's, he's sweet. He's like this big old boy. And he may be distantly related to the imps, perhaps. Same sort of like design aesthetic not not entirely the same but he's a he's a chunkier boy but he's chunky and he's got like some crazy antlers going on uh his his gimmick is that he summons uh like projectile uh for lack of a better word wisps that uh can be killed and do proc on kill effects so that's kind of his niche i guess um and he's sweet he's very cool he sh also shoots, like, chain things out of his mouth, like a chain shotgun, just out of his mouth, into your body. I don't know what that that's all about. They're purple, some spirit chains shackling you to the ground. He's sweet. I like him a lot. Can't wait to fight him. I guess he'll only be on the Scorched Acres stage. Uh, his appellation is... Horde of many, that might just be a placeholder, like what it says underneath his thing when he's a boss. Because we already have a horde of many um, in the game as an actual mechanic. You know, you get a bunch of rare boys. Champion variants, elite boys at once, and that's a horde of many. But, uh, so I'm, I'm sure he'll get a different appellation. But it kind of does make sense because he shoots out little fruits. I'm sure it's just placeholder, though. Uh, he's cool. They also did not give us a release date specifically. They just said, you know, they're polishing and stuff. And a lot of people are really mad about that in the Discord. But you know what? That's some, that's, this just, it's always this way. This is just part of game development. All the games that I've followed in my lifetime have always been plagued by this issue of people just wanting it now because you know they're gonna but um people people want the the new fresh hotness they want it now they want to know the date they want to get all the content now but you know it's it's hard to the hard part is understanding that game development takes more time than uh you think there's a lot of a lot of work that goes into it and you can't just expect Especially with a small team like Hopo has of four people. Um, three people and a music guy. Tiny team to uh, make these huge 
they gotta do all sorts of stuff. They have to make new content and also plan future new content. They have to fix bugs. They have to make balance decisions. They have to, you know, deal with localization and they have to fix the, you know, whenever there's issues in the code that call for fixing the, how the, like, oh, the damage is weird, so we want to make, uh, proc things better on heavy hits rather than quick attacks, because our attack speed boys are getting too much attack speed, and that's, that's too strong. We want to have heavier hits to it, so you have to refactor the entire freaking math behind how the game works. And that brings up a whole another crop of issues. And then you also want to add some new items. And the interactions between the new items cause in further issues. So you have to go back and fix the items and their interactions. And then, oh my god, you're already three months out. <laughs> and you still haven't pushed the, pushed the update yet. Plus, on top of that, you know, you're trying to, like, I don't know. Maybe you're trying to, I don't know. You got real life. <laughs> Everybody has real life. They're people too. They want to, you know, you don't want to... It's crazy. They have lives and families. They want to continue to take care of themselves. We don't want to push them to the point of insanity. So just give them time is the moral of the story. Uh, that's all I got for you. But, uh, you know... Me saying this doesn't really, you know, if you're watching this video, you probably already know this kind of thing, because I've talked about it before. And not that you necessarily watch everything that I'm putting out, but, like, I mean, it's it's fairly common sense. It's a lot of the time is people don't quite understand, they don't think about it from that perspective, right? It's like, I think there's a lot of entitlement, and entitlement is a triggering word. People don't like to be called entitled, but as gamers, I think we are very entitled. Most of us <laughs> are, are very entitled people uh, when it comes to things like this. And you know what? That's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. You, all you can do is you... I think it's unreasonable to ask uh, everyone to not be entitled. But, uh, you know, if you can personally make the world a little bit of a better place, then... You know, maybe someone else can too, and then, you know, everyone goes around in a big old circle and we sing hallelujahs and jerk each other off, basically, is how it's going to work. Uh, I'm very excited. The new boss looks freaking sweet. Uh, we're getting a release date sometime in June. Thank you for... <laughs> I, honestly, I'm just here. This is me talking. Hello. Uh, I'm just here to talk about the game and play it and uh, you know what we're gonna have a good time maybe even not die horribly to these elites that would be cool we have some drones it's pretty good I mean our build right now is sort of scattered but that's okay we know um, so yesterday I said that the topaz brooch was the one there's two items that we know. The topaz brooch is the small turtle one that looks like a brooch. A brooch is like a a thing that you wear. It's like a piece of jewelry. And a topaz is a type of mineral. Precious gem. Semi-precious gem. Um, topaz brooch is the one that gives you temporary invulnerability. And I think how it stacks, it's a white item. I think how it stacks is that it, uh... So, when, if you, so, if you have one Topaz Brooch, and you get hit, it protects the, like, left side of your health bar, so not the right side where you're taking damage. Um, you, your lowest amount of health is protected. It's only, like, uh, let's say a twentieth of your health is actually, um, invincible. Right, so you can't drop below that amount. If you get more Topaz Brooches, I'm expecting it. If you have like 10 Topaz Brooches, maybe it covers half of your health. That, that seems optimistic. Maybe it doesn't scale linearly, but um, when you get hit, you can't drop below half health, or it can't drop you any further below half health. 
Um, that's what I'm expecting that item to do. But then there's the other item that we d actually didn't see this time because they didn't show that half of the video. They showed the uh, the new boss rather uh, instead. The uh, the item that shoots Nukahana projectiles. I don't remember anything about it other than it was yesterday. It's like blue Nukahana projectiles. Anyway, um, I had assumed that that one was the Topaz brooch. But uh, I was mistaken, and it was the other. I think it was a green, a green item, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, um, very excited. That'll be coming out sometime. They said very soon was the quote. Uh, and we don't have any more information than that. Than that, and I will stop talking about this now. I'm gonna talk about when I'm gonna be back. I'm leaving tomorrow. I gotta go hang out with my family. So I will be gone. Uh, I might end up causing some videos to go live while I'm gone, but if it comes out this week Then I'm screwed I'll be back on uh, Monday So you know this works out for me. Maybe I cursed it But it's a good curse, you know, they, they'll take they'll take their time. I think it's interesting um the level design, because they did, they just reiterated that, uh, they're, the stage is supposed to be not a, like, naturally formed environment like all these other stages have been for, it's like an actual thing, and with the, with the name Grove Tender, like, that just gives, like, the literal interpretation of that is someone tending a grove. It'll be interesting to try and see... Is it the trees that the Grove Tender tends, or is it like fucking, I don't know, clones of, uh, demons? Maybe it is just a tree protector. And it, I think it fits with the lore of the, of, of the world being like, there's a lot of like, the enemies are good and we are bad. Humans, there's some, you know, human versus whatever there's some uh, there's some themes there right and so it fits with that theme of uh, the survivors are assholes for exploiting the natural environment and you know but they're also just doing what they have to but you know what at what cost sort of thing um, and grove tender if, if we're beating up a guy who's just trying to fix the trees then it's the Lorax he's he's just the Lorax and, you know, that's a, too bad for him, because he may be the Lorax, but we're fucking in need of some paper, bitch. The th needs. The things that absolutely everyone needs. Th need. Uh, money, baby. I want money. Money is good. My parents are getting my sister a car for graduation. I didn't get a freaking car. Clearly, I'm not the favorite child. Uh, but yeah, it'll be fun. We can go party a little bit. Are you guys graduated yet? Has this generation graduated yet? If you've graduated already, raise your hand. And if you haven't, uh... I don't know. If you haven't, you have to like the video if you haven't graduated yet. And if you have graduated the video... Vi the if you have graduated from college, you have to leave a comment. That's how it works. Pretty pretty sure that's exactly just it's written law somewhere. Uh there are many items here. I don't have enough money for all of these.
There was other stuff that they talked about in the thing. But I think most of it was like... I don't know, let me see if I can pull up anything really quick. What do we got? Did they say anything? It's definitely June. Uh, hold on. Reddit. Risk of rain. I don't know, dude. Grove tender. It's all about the grove tender, though. I'm not gonna go through Reddit. It's too much work. You're not here for Reddit. You're here for me. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe you're here for the game. The Grove Tender's sweet. You should go watch at least the part where the boss comes out. Um, I like him. I would like to go get these items. And then we'll move on. I have a lot of money, actually. I don't think we're gonna hit the buttons. Unless the buttons are like right here or something. Should I get this drone? Probably won't need it if any of these are chests. None of these are chests. One of these are chests. The Grove Tender. Sounds like the gr Grave Tender. Tender Tendies. But he is just the Lorax, though. And he is something straight out of Studio Ghibli. Go look at him. It's like they wholesale ripped it. He moves kind of interesting. I, I don't know if he moves at all. He's he's sort of like a... Um, like a Beetle Queen in terms of movement. Beetle Queens don't move all that much. And then there's Rex. Now, Rex is pretty sweet. I think Rex is uh, gonna be a lot of fun with the... They also said that they were gonna work on reworking Commando. One of the... <laughs> I remember, okay. One of the things that the interviewers asked uh, Duncan was like, so, uh, what can we... Can you expand a little bit on what kind of things uh, fans of the first Risk of Rain can expect from uh, this patch in terms of bringing back things from Risk of Rain 1 to the new game? And Nopo was like, Oh, well, uh, actually... Or maybe it was Paul, I don't remember. Um, actually... I don't know, he didn't, he didn't actually. He tried to steer the topic away from it. Uh, as best as he could, but because literally this patch, they said, uh, actually nothing from the first game. <laughs> it's all new content. That's the whole focus. Uh, so <laughs> I just imagined the uh, actual heart attack. It must be rough up there talking about the, uh, you know, sort of. It's not that they were lying necessarily, but. He did have to actually fudge answering the question a little bit. Um, it was pretty funny. They did say that, oh, well, I, I think it, it turned into like a... Well, we want to work on Commando a little bit in the future. <laughs> to make him feel like uh, a little bit more impactful because people feel like he's weak or something. That's that's their, their byline that they're going with. And that's fine. I think Commando, they previously stated uh, that they feel like Commando is balanced in a, on a numerical standpoint, uh, which, you know, I, uh, we'll see. 
it'll be even more interesting after the patch that nerfs uh, heavy hit, hit or fast hits rather than big heavy hits uh, <laughs> when Scorched Acres comes out. But, uh, ooh, Order Shrine. Oh, well, we have a backup. If we, uh... Hold on, let's, let's get everything else on the stage and then we'll Order Shrine. What was I talking about? It's like usually... Uh, I don't know. I need this. Oh, okay, yeah, no, Commando. So... They're gonna rework Commando's... Uh, they've said previously that they want to make Commando feel a little bit nicer, have some better feedback on the maybe hit sounds and um, maybe knock back a little bit or something just because they feel like the numbers are okay which I you know I don't necessarily disagree with but uh, you know if you can make commando feel more from a just a by tweaking FX and just visual effects and you know feedback on the hits and that kind of thing then by all means, absolutely. I don't know if Commando is incredibly strong. I think the thing is he scales really well right now with uh, with on hit items because you know that's his whole thing is that he's he's got um, he's got the full proc rate and a high rate of fire. And that's his whole gimmick. Proc coefficient is um, just really good. Okay, what are we getting? Oh my goodness. All right, well, check this out. Looks like this is a gasoline run. Clabong, baby. No healing. Gotta really, really need to... Take it nice and easy here. Oh, this is a weird one. Hello, please don't shoot at me. I'm gentle. Please don't shoot at me. I'm gentle. Please. Oh. Oh boy, this is gonna be... Perhaps a very fast run. <laughs> Doesn't give me much in the way of confidence. I almost jumped into the... <laughs> we just gotta focus on the weak boys. Is 16 gasoline enough to do what we need? I usually say that 15 is the magic number uh, of Gasoline or Will of the Wisps. I don't know why I made that distinction. It's not entirely wrong, but uh, I don't know if it's completely accurate either. Oh my god. I really... we need to be very cautious. That's a fire boy. If I can just get kills, they will happen. Oh, it's good. This is good. This is good. Oh my god, my war banner! <laughs> we gotta just focus on the weak ones, let them take down everyone else. Focus on also dodging. Uh, golems are actually, like, one of our greatest threats right now. Because they can turn relatively quickly and track us fairly easily. We'll just try and assassinate as much as we can. The the weak kill the weak. Talking tactics, baby. Oh my god. My tactics. Right in my tactics. I'm engaged. We can do this. We have a healing drone. That's our only health, boy. A 
That's all we need, though. Are we gonna live? Uh, it's gonna be rough. We have the weirdest mobility in the game, which is actually wonderful. How long have I been picking up? I have <laughs> I've not been paying attention to my gas count. I'm very sorry. I only did it three additional times before I caught it. That's great. I'm sorry, I was focusing on dodging. Um, I was really trying not to do stupid things, and I ended up focusing so hard on not doing stupid things that, hey, I did a stupid thing. That's okay. Uh, backup mag is probably another gasoline. Ooh, bleed. Ooh, more, more gas. Alright. Yeah, we're probably going to turn that bleed into, uh, not gas. We're going to keep the bleed. We're going to turn everything into gas and then come pick up the bleed. Kill the babies. Slay the child. Kill the children. Become, you know, your heart. Something, something, Star Wars quote. I don't know. I was never a really big Star Wars nerd. I, you know, Star Wars is pretty good, and that's good. And the new Star Wars, we're keep, keeping this, absolutely. Uh, little guy will heal us. The Star Wars are not, in my opinion, something that is like, I enjoy Star Wars as action films. I don't think that they're these, they're meant to be these perfect, untouchable things. Uh, and so I go into every Star Wars film being like, Hey, this will be like a cool action film. And then I'm not disappointed. And they do some, you know, laser sword shit, and they shoot some bullets, and there's some drama, and it's good. And I have a good time, and then I go home and I read on Reddit about how it's the worst movie that has ever been made. And then I'm like, all right, well, rip. But that's okay. And then you just get memes. That's what memes are for. People can have different opinions, and that's okay. But I think Star Wars is a good time. I don't think Star Wars needs to me to defend it either. That's the other part. But uh, you know, whatever. It's it's an interesting subject because there's a lot of there's a lot of Star Wars controversy, controversy. Oh my god! Oh yeah, that was an electric bison? No, the Imp Overlord, I guess, finished me off. The electric bison just did the thing. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like, bu like button, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time. Take it easy. Bye bye